Capricorn. Welcome to the Tarot Room. My name is Robin. And Cappy, let's see what's coming towards you that you don't see coming. Let's do that style of reading, shall we? Let's see what's coming in your direction. Let's see what you're not expecting. The good, the bad, the ugly. But let's hope it's good. Let's find out, shall we? We have orphaned. Oh, dear. Okay. That's the overall energy around you right now. Okay. Let's hope we're coming out of that energy and not entering into that energy. Let's find out what is the Kipper energy here around Capricorn, the house. Okay, and the bottom is a journey. Maybe some of you are moving. Uh, maybe there's been some changes in your home life here, or there's about to be some changes that you don't see coming. Let's find out. Like I, when I see this, I get the feeling of like someone who's renting a house and they're now selling the house and you got, you know, 30, 60, 90 days uh, to leave. That could be happening to some of you. We all know that that's happening a lot in society right now. At least it is where I'm living. All right, let's talk about you, cat. Let's see what's coming that you don't see coming, but this could be an excellent move, right? Maybe you don't like where you are and now you're moving and, and you're taking a new adventure, a new leap of faith, heading in a new direction. So let's see what's coming. Let us see. Let's get the cards out and see what's going on. <laughs> and Capricorn, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you want one, the link is in the description box below. These are in reverse. Okay, there's two of them here. Three of Pentacles is in reverse, and the Sun is in reverse. Leo energy, Aries energy as well here. Okay. Justice. Well, okay. Well, that's being reversed. <laughs> Libra energy here. Four ones. Yeah, there's this. Uh, definitely this, uh, what's coming towards you or what's happening here is revolving around your home life. Uh, it revolves around your house, your apartment, your condo. Your mobile home, your tiny home. We have magician and temperance. So we have a lot of major arcanas here. Gemini energy, Sagittarius energy. It's on the bottom. Ten of Pentacles energy. That's what's up. Eight of Wands. One more. Hello, Empress energy in the house. This is a very powerful Capricorn. Let's see what's going on, Cap, because I feel the orphaned energy is something you're coming out of. So you might be coming into this reading feeling that way, very difficult, maybe having some challenges here around your home life or work even. Um, but that's that's definitely coming to an end and you don't realize maybe how soon it's going to end or you don't see how this is going to progress. But we start this reading, the Three of Pentacles in reverse and the Sun in reverse. And my instincts were to take that as not fully valuing and appreciating yourself. Maybe you lack confidence or maybe you don't see the great skills or the gifts that you have or you don't recognize it or emphasize them or sell them. Let me understand that a little bit. Yeah, there's a star. Maybe you're doubting that you can get what you want or that you deserve what you want even, but there's the high priestess and there's the two. Yeah, that, but that it's just, there's the five of wands and there's the page of cups. Maybe you're worried or afraid. There's an element here of doubting yourself and you're realizing that that's just disappointing yourself. You should be your biggest fan. You should have that confidence. You should know your strengths and your weaknesses. Your intuition's telling you something, um, but I feel that there's challenges that come with it. Let's say this is about a business. You want to start a business. Um, let's say you just want to buy a home in a new city. You want to move a city. Um, so there's challenges that come with this and that's what's making you afraid or worried or stressed out. So it's like, let's say you want to start your business. Well, you know that there's going to be financial struggles. You're going to have to find their first clients, build your reputation. There's challenges, right? There's things and barriers you're going to be facing, but your intuition is telling you that this is the right thing to do. It's the right way to go. So I see like a little push and pull here. Whoa, what was that? That flew right out. The hermit. But your intuition is telling you this is what you need to do. So now it's kind of like this element where you're disappointed in yourself, maybe for not having done it sooner or not making the choice to go through it. Um, I'm not sure, but there's an element of being disappointed in yourself, but you're not going to do that anymore. So what's the justice here? Justice is making the right decision, the best decision. It's being honest. Whoa. The page of cups, the page of pentacles is in reverse and the queen of wands is in reverse. There's a chariot. There's lessons being learned. There's the strength revolves. There's the fool Aries energy. Again, we have Leo energy, Cancerian energy, but we have a lot of major arcanas here, Capricorn. So this is really something that's a big deal in your life. That's going to have a heavy influence on your life. There's lessons being like the page of pentacles in reverse and the queen of wands in reverse. I normally don't get this. It's like a, you're realizing like the queen of wands is the queen of confidence, but she's upside down and there's the lesson. So I feel like you're the queen of wands. I don't think it's someone else. I think that you're realizing that you need to have the confidence in yourself because no one else is going to do that. And you're gaining that confidence, whether it's just through life experience, self mastery, spiritual work, but it's like your confidence is really starting to gain here. And you're really making the decision to, to, to own your power, to soar in your power could be the influence of Pluto leaving. We all know it's leaving soon. I'm sure you guys are clickety clicking, jumping for joy, getting your martini and your champagne bottles out. Um, 
But this is just like, you know what you want, you're not going to stop you. I want to understand the four of wands a little bit more. Let's see exactly what this is about. I do believe it's about your house somehow, but it could be about, you know, work and, I don't know. What's the four of wands? Let's try and get to the bottom of this Capricorn. Death. I do think you have to move to make this change. There's the, the emperor. That's okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Four of wands again. I do believe it has to do around your home life. And there's the ace of cups. So... I think you have to move and I think you have to change residence and that might be struggling. That might be challenge. Maybe you have to change cities and you live in the same city for 20 years or you got to leave your home behind and go somewhere new in order to make this happen for yourself or whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. You need to move and that worries you. There's fears and concerns about that. Maybe you're worried about being alone, not having any friends when you first move. Um, so there's worries and fears about that, but you're not, um, well, you're not letting it stop you. Let's talk about the magician energy. So I think this might be very specific. This is like, a, this is a Capricorn who wants to make a move. Yeah, but there's a meeting like that. I feel like that's your agent. Um, but you know, you're trying and, and you're worried about this move. You're scared about this move. I feel it's like a long distance or something you've been planning for quite some time, right? Let's say you're planning to become a minimalist, sell all your stuff and just travel the country. Uh, go across Europe, go backpacking, right? Like, so what's the magician energy here for Capricorn? Because this is what you don't see coming. So it's like, maybe you've been wanting it or thinking about it, but it's actually going to come. You're actually going to do it. Yeah, you are. <laughs> it's like, it's like this epiphany, this ball goes off, ding, and you're like, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. And you're just going to do it. Uh, you, you know, like Nike said, just do it. So what's the temperance energy? It's like you've been patient long enough. Yeah, there's the king of cups. You know what you want. Um, and you also know that you can overcome those challenges and those barriers. So it's like a very proactive energy. Capricorn, you're moving. You're moving homes, you're moving towns, you're moving countries, you're moving cities. You're going to celebrate, you're going to enjoy it, you're going to have new scenery, and you're confident that you're making the right decision. So, and the Five of Cups is there, so it could be something from the past holding you back, but I feel like it's more of like an opportunity is presenting itself, and you can't stop this anymore. Like, you just see something, and you just got to go by it, go, grab, the, grab the bull by the horns and make it happen. And that's what I feel you're doing here. It's, an, it's something that you can't resist anymore. And there's the Ten of Pentacles. And, and there's the Nine of Wands, though. What's on the other side of that? There are going to be challenges, but you're okay with that. You might be disappointing other people, but you're, you're, you're going to live with that. So it's a very proactive energy. Like, you know, like I said, you're moving across the country. You're moving to a different country. Maybe they speak a different language, right? And you got to go on that lingo place and, and learn Spanish or something. <laughs> but you're moving. Whoever this reading is for, you're moving. It's been long enough. You're doing this and nothing's going to stop you here, Capricorn. You're making big moves. And that's what you don't see coming. You're going to be doing it now. Maybe you're planning on it next year or something. But um, what triggers it? What triggers this, this move? Like what triggers the, the change to happen now? That's what I don't see. You. It's just you. <laughs> Maybe you're just not happy. Maybe you're just, uh, you know, it's, it's just you. Something inside of you just ha activates this month. And you're just like, I need to do it now. And I'm going to do it. So you do. Okay. That's what we have. So the time is right and you're going to make it happen. So Cap, let's grab some oracles. Let's see what they want to say. And we will get back to the tarot. We'll do your potential outcome. We'll see how you're doing in, in December in a month um, from now. What's the shadow uh, self want to say to Capricorn? What does shadow Capricorn want to present to Capricorn today? <laughs> what do we have here? Escapism. So detach from daily struggles and relax, but don't use it as a form of avoidance. Okay. And what does Cap A need to surrender to when it comes to this move, making this move and making it go as smooth as possible? Oh, okay. Yeah. Your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen. Ah, and then let go. So holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. And we'll just grab your spirit animal message here, Cap, and then we'll get back to your uh, potential outcome. I just saw the turkey. Gobble, gobble. Good news. What, uh, what's the spirit animal message here for? Capricorn. The dolphin. Peace. All right. So the gentle nature of the dolphin reminds you to look for the good in everyone and strive to bring peace into your life and to those around you. Trust your instincts and intuition rather than overthinking things. Okay. So Capricorn, let's get your potential outcome. Now when I say potential, there is always free will. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. And when I say, oh, come, let's see where you are in December, in a month. Oh, eight of pentacles. I like that so far. So um, working hard, got your head down, seeing results. This is the card of progress, results, mastery. Um, I can't remember where I was in my spew, but let's see where you are in a month. <laughs> let's see how you're doing, Capricorn. Let's see how this move is going. 
There's still a little worries. You're working on it though. Look, working on your thoughts. Um, what's on the other side? And there's those challenges. <laughs> Excuse me. The Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. And we got the Five of Wands. What the heck? Okay, one more. The Hanged Man. And there's the Emperor. So there's Death. Ace of Cups and Judgment. So I do see some challenges. You're absolutely right. Um, but you're working on it. So the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. And that's, I want to, where's my other tarot deck? <laughs> Hold on, I need to clarify. And I don't know where the heck it is. It's not here. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm going to clarify with these then. Oh, there it is. Hold on, Capricorn. I don't like to I don't like to clarify with the same deck because if a card is on the table, it can't come out again. And what if I need it? What if they want to bring it up? Um, I want the Ace of Pentacles in reverse because I see you working on these challenges, right? I see you trying to solve problems. <laughs> I see you in problem solving mode. So there's a challenge here um, and it's taking a lot of effort within yourself here. So let's see what the challenge is because the Ace of Pentacles is in reverse. That's a, a lack of a solid foundation or um, a lack of progress or oh no, it's not a forward movement. Let's see the star, the hermit, you're doubting. Oh, gotta do things differently. The two of wands. The Nine of Swords, but this is my Neo card. This is Neo. You know what's really strange about that? That's my favorite scene in like any movie, right? So you don't even know what I'm talking about unless you've seen me present this Neo card before. So in the Matrix number one, right? And that, <laughs> that's why they brought this out. You're doubting yourself here. You're doubting if you've got the tools. You're doubting if you can overcome these challenges. You're doubting if you have the skills. Your mind is playing, is mind trapping you. Agent Smith has made an appearance in your reading to date, Capricorn. But I call this my Neo card. And I call this, and this is my favorite scene, and this, the reason I looked like that is because it popped up randomly on YouTube yesterday. I thought, my God, I haven't seen The Matrix or talked about it or, like in a long time. So I watched it because I really love that scene. That's what this is. This is the scene where his ego dies. This is the scene where, if, I'm sorry, this is spoiler alert, spoiler alert, if you've never seen Matrix 1. But if you haven't, I highly recommend you watch all of them. <laughs> but in the first one, I'll let you leave if you've never seen it. All right, you've exited the building. So this is for those who have seen The Matrix. Uh, Neo, he gets shot. He's not the one. He's doubting himself. He doesn't think he can do it. He doesn't think he can create his own reality, right? And he gets shot. Boom, boom, boom. Agent Smith takes him out. But then he's just like, no. And they all shoot him. And this is when the bullets are dropping. And this is when he really becomes Neo, the one. Anything and everything around her is in complete control. He's seeing everything for what it is. So it's kind of like these challenges have woken you up to really realize the power within yourself. They've really realized who you are and what you can do. Sometimes you don't realize how strong, resilient you are until you go through those challenges. And you're making the choice here to have that confidence. This is the two of wands. This is the card of making different decisions. And that's what you're doing is you're doing things differently. So you're looking at these challenges, obstacles, problems differently. You're in problem solving mode. You're very structured. You're very disciplined. Like you're changing the way that you're doing things here, Capricorn, and it's creating results and progress. But I feel the most it's creating confidence. Confidence. So you're becoming Neo <laughs> and there it is. And that's what's going to create the Ace of Pentacles. So you're just getting a little attack from Agent Smith, which is also what some people call the devil, <laughs> and Satan and temptation. And that's your lower virtues, your worries, your anxieties, your fears, your self doubts. You can't do this Capricorn, but you can because the only because I see a very proactive energy in someone who's more than prepared for this challenge. So, you know, maybe your car broke down, you got to stop it off and, uh, you know, get your engine fixed or something here. But Capricorn, you're becoming Neo, you're becoming the Matrix. Life is what you make of it. And look at the web that you're spinning. It's a beautiful web of love, bless and abundance. I don't know why I said love, but maybe you're just loving yourself. And I did, but that's what I got. That's what's going on. You're making the choice to follow your dreams and you're not going to let anything stop you. There are challenges. There are barriers that are going to come and present themselves as with anything that you do. You do begin to doubt yourself a little bit or doubt what you're doing, which means there might be some stressful nights where maybe you feel a little bit alone. You haven't made any friends or maybe the weather sucks. Your grocery bag's broken and your, your groceries got wet, you know, just the little things getting you down, but you're continuing to work on that. Take control. You're seeing progress. It's a beautiful energy. You're in a good place and you know that you can overcome this. <laughs> And that's what I got. That's what's up. That's what you don't see coming is you're going to be making a really big change. I know you've been thinking about it, but you do it and you act upon it. It happens quite quickly. And next thing you know, you're living over there in Kalamazoo. <laughs> so Capricorn, that's what's up. That's what I got. That's what's going down. So I do hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope it benefited you. And as always, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe. It does help my channel. So thank you, Capricorn. I always appreciate your support. And let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. 
Yes or no? What's the answer for Capricorn? Try again. All right. Rephrase. <laughs> okay. What's the answer for Capricorn? Yes or no? Maybe next time. They're not giving us an answer. <laughs> third time's a charm. Third time's a charm. Spirit. Yes or no? Definitely no. That's what I have. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.